Uh, you know, since we're talking and we're already on it like that, what do you think about this crown? Bro, I think it's crazy, bro. I Crazy th- good, crazy bad? Crazy good, bro. Uh-huh. Crazy good. So, so <clears throat> IBJJF. It's, it's, okay, it's just a Grand Prix, right? It's just... Or, like, what's different about it? What, like, why are they hyping it up so much other than, hey, I'm not going to lie, the, the, the they're winner. Paying. They're the, paying. Okay, what's the grand price? Oh, I don't know. You don't know right. It's probably like 10 grand or something right, like that. So, um, but but it's, <clears throat> it's, it's that they're finally, it's that IBJJF has finally realized that there are people that want to be professional jiu-jitsu athletes, and they're putting together an event where people can make money, mm-hmm. right? And it's... Um, it's a four man. It's a four man tournament, right? Yeah. Um, for the crown. So that's why I just said I was like, "Is this just a freaking uh, a regular freaking Grand Prix, or like why is it the crown?" I, I that's just, why they deeming it the crown. That's just the, they they just dubbed it the crown. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't necessarily know what that's about, but um, probably to add some prestige to it to make people come because like so so we we're, we're doing you got men's crown men and women. Mm-hmm. And this next one is coming up is um in November, November nineteenth, midway right before Thanksgiving, and you got the featherweight division. fifteen thousand dollars. That's 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 what the 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 price, bro. Uh, that right, it sounds about right. I, I personally don't think that that's enough, enough money no, it's to not. call somebody a professional athlete, <laughs> yeah. but it's a start for because so we have I'm like if like in an event like this if if it doesn't amount to one year's you know uh, you know a, 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 a annual expenditures. salary yeah like yeah, that expenditures and like let, let's just take even if it's mid tier you know salary like 40 to like uh 35 to 45,000 uh, dollars like that cuz that you know that's probably mid tier for for annual salary right somewhere Bro, around there if it doesn't equal full time Salary at minimum wage. Yeah, it's not worth it. Yeah, exactly. Like, I mean, I'm not. I'm not talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars. Like even like anywhere between forty to sixty thousand. Like I think that's a good. I think it's probably prize. That's probably legit. like that. If you if it's le- for to be a legit professional, you know what I mean. But I th- because look at UFC. Even for the for the starting out guys, you know, freaking, you know, when they're starting out and, and they make it on the undercard for like even for ESPN Plus fights and stuff like that, they win. And you know, you're talking about anywhere between thirty to fifty thousand dollars. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. That's good, though. You know what I mean? And then, psh, you know, if you fucking have fight of the night or performance of the night, that's an extra $50,000 bonus. You know what I mean? Right. The bonus right. itself the pays bonus for itself, your freaking it's, it's, it's annual worth it. it's salary. Worth it. It's worth so, it. But, and like, but I, I mean, I, listen, I think that having, I think that they feel like they have to start someplace because they have a lot to compete with, bro. And I think that one of the big things for them is, which they can kind of get away with it, is there's not really a lot of places that are paying in a gi right now, mm-hmm. except for the Abu Dhabi tournaments. Now, would I like to see it on a larger scale where it's like, you know, we're going to run a tournament and it's going to be a crown tournament and you get up and whoever signs up for it signs up for it and your grand prize at the end of the day is 100K and you've got a 300-man bracket and a tournament takes place over three days? I mean, I, I get it. But um, so, this, so this one coming up next month, You've got five brackets. In your featherweight bracket for the men, you've got Samuel and the guy who just mm-hmm. won Worlds. I, I think he's I think he's gonna win this for sure, man. Well, his first match, mm-hmm. his matchup, Diego Pato. He's they, coming up. The, uh, so you remember that video that everybody was looking at from Worlds where the dude got punch choked? Yeah, the sleep? punch choke. Yeah, yeah, that was Pato. Yeah, but I, but they're not. They, they, I don't think they've ever been in the same uh, weight. Class, um, I think Pato is freaking coming up. He's probably fighting uh-huh. a little bit bigger mm-hmm. because who else is in that division on the other side? Fabricio Andre, man, he's, he's kind of like died I out. I have, like he's been real the, quiet. You know what I mean? I feel like you're right. And Isaac Doderlin, I, Isaac, he, he, you know, freaking, he, he, he you know, he, you know, he he won worlds two years ago. Yeah, didn't win the last. Ago. Didn't win the last. Well, he, round. He, he he came back. He went to the finals again. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, lost. He, he lost um, to Samuel the guy. So. I, no, what he lost to Sam? Did he? He lost to Sam in the guy in the semi semis, 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 semis in the semis because the he semis. beat he beat Alex uh, Saudre. Saudre, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He, um, yeah one of the Saudre brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think so that's real I think quick. It's a good set uh, of names, real quick bro. before you you finish the, those the, those. All right, and the, I can't find a definite uh, answer on this like that. But just off of revenue 
for memberships. All right. What's your uh, membership for IBJJF a year? Uh, is it 35 dollars. Thirty five. Yeah. Just off of memberships a year, two million dollars. Yeah, like they do could, the, they do could the, pay so many more people. Do do the math. You know, freaking at, yeah. Do the math at a at a tournament. You know, Houston Open. I think I I I uh, I paid oh. one ten for the for the uh for Houston Open. All right, there's probably what? How many fighters? Bro, there's probably like probably five hundred people per tournament. Mm -hmm. Do the math. Do the math. Easy. Yeah. At, at hundred dollars, if you conservatively you're, you're go hundred dollars, you're making half a, a meal right there. You yeah, know what I mean? For for so then you take out your overhead. Your overhead's not hundred k. No. So you're ma you're making four hundred k per tournament. You put this weekend is Miami and New Orleans, so that's a million even bucks. bigger ones, you know? Yeah, yeah, and then and then you got the ones that last longer. I, look, I think that you, I definitely think you could pay people more, no, but yeah. I think I def so continue with the with so, the brackets for sure. So the women's lightweight division is Luisa Montero, staple in the women's division, mm -hmm. um, versus uh, Brianna Saint Marie. Mm -hmm. Now that chick's been tough, bro. Yeah, and she's been like she's been scrapping. Um, and on the other side, you got uh, Nachi, not, uh, Nachi Hibero, Tata Ribeiro, mm -hmm. um, and she's fighting Geniana Libre. I can't, I can never say her name. But bro, the, um, I think that's gonna be tough, man. I think it's gonna be some good matches. You got, it's kind of like the old guard versus the new guard in both of those mm -hmm. matches because. Uh, Tata and Luis have been around for a long, long time, time, but then Saint Marie are coming and, uh, up and they're, yeah, they, 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 they're, mm -hmm. they're 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 storming up. So the middleweight division. Yeah. Oh, I thought uh, is it middle or would it be for heavy? It's men's middleweight. Oh, middleweight for men's. Okay, I thought okay. Tynan. Tynan versus uh, Pedro Maya. Andy Marasaki versus Mauricio Oliveira. Mm -hmm. So uh, Tynan has beaten Andy before. Um, I think Andy's. I mean, Andy's an amazing competitor. Mm -hmm. They, uh, I, I'd like to see them fight again. Yeah, he just. I it just, seems that he always getting edged out, you know, by the better guy. You know, specifically just talking about you know Tynan and then freaking um, uh, Jansen. Yeah, you know, I, I, it, yeah. It, it, I, mm -hmm. but I mean, it, you know, but it's also been a Jansen's while. Jansen's not doing it, right? He's not doing it. Mm -hmm. Um. Was this an invites or like or what, what like how did they even get I, these guys? You know, invites, they're just bro. just invites, it's invites or that or like oh, are you available kind of things because I, I'm like I'm I pretty sure they invited Jansen and Tynan. I, bro, you know, I would have one hundred percent have invited Jansen and Tynan. Yeah, you know, what you know if you imagine if you, you know if you I, want that to be your this invite. is what I was thinking, bro. Check this out. All right, or like if I don't see why they didn't make this. You want to talk about freaking the crown and who's the best? Check this bracket out, Tynan. Jansen, all right, freaking uh, um, uh, Mika, and and Andy. <laughs> all right, right, like bro, fuck, like check tough out, it out. Take that bracket out. T tough it out. <laughs> yeah. Let's figure it. You talking about you want to freaking really generate see, some revenue and, and people see, will, will. So so you know so you know how you so you know the like the huge tournament the big mm -hmm. tournaments they only do sixteen man brackets. Mm -hmm. So if there's seventy people. There's like five 16 man brackets. And, and honestly, a, I, I recant uh, uh, Andy, I'll put in Ty. Oh. Nothing yeah. on Andy, but you oh. know. So, okay, okay. I'm glad, I'm glad <laughs> you mentioned I'm glad you mentioned Ty. So we'll yeah. mention that we go go back yeah. to Ty because yeah. Ty's got some exciting yeah. stuff going on. He's going to come in um, number one, right? Your bro. Yeah. So, He's going against his brother, isn't he? No, 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 no. Tonight, he fights tonight yeah, in tonight. one. Uh -huh. Bro, the face off. Uh -huh. They're there, you know, regular fight. Dude shoves Ty. Yeah. Boom, pushes him across the ring. Ty's like, okay, for, or the, the stage. Ty's mm -hmm. like, let's go. I'm like, bro, <laughs> like, I don't know who you are or whatever, but I don't know if you want to do this. This guy's explosive, bro. Yeah. That's going to be a good match tonight. So then the men's heavyweight division. Uh, Felipe Andrew, yeah. Francisco Lowe, um, Gustavo Batista, and Anderson Ferreira, bro. Now, Show me, you have a picture of him. <clears throat> yeah, he sound that sounds like a familiar name. Anderson Ferrero is a guy. Okay, that's yeah, a, yeah, I've seen. I've, he's the guy. He just, he's new black belt, bro. Mm -hmm. Lighten it up. He fights mm -hmm. in Europe, out of Europe someplace. Yeah, Lighten it win, up, bro. Uh, Euros. Great, like uh, like mm -hmm. like crazy jujitsu, bro. Mm -hmm. Like he's a, he's he's a really fun guy to watch. Mm -hmm. Super technical, a lot of explosion. I think that's gonna be a good. I think it's gonna be good to watch. Um, I just think that Batista's 
Like I, I can see Batista big, and Felipe Andrews. I, I yeah, mm-hmm. I think Batista's a big strong guy, and mm-hmm. Felipe Andrews got that. Uh, he's got amazing guard for heavyweight. Yeah, he's he's kind of you know coming down, you know, freaking from his prime. You know, he's, he's being a little quiet. Like he's he's winning a lot of like uh, regional stuff like that, but like at, at the you know pans or you know worlds he's and stuff got, like that. He's he's he, you know. You, and that's why I think that if you want to do this, you see him getting edged out. You should do this mm-hmm. on a big level. Mm-hmm. That like don't have like a four man bracket. Where, where's like this being this held at? Uh, it's at the it's at the pyramid in Long Beach. Oh, pyramid. Okay. Yeah, it's at um. So where the same place they hold worlds. Mm-hmm. So it's a big event. Um, women super heavy. Gabrielli. Uh, yeah. Pasanya versus Amy Campo, mm-hmm. Nachielli de Jesus I can see versus Gabby Melissa Stryker. And, yeah, Gally and Nachi. <laughs> Have they ever gone with, with each other before? Um, I don't think so. Mm-hmm. I think that they were. I think that their trajectories were different because mm-hmm. um, Gabby started out doing a lot of Abu Dhabi stuff. Yeah, so she's like. Queen of the whatever, whatever, whatever the queen of the mm-hmm. queen, queen of the ring or whatever they call it in Abu Dhabi. Like she's done a lot of that, and then I think she switched over or she started doing more IBJJF stuff uh, in Brazil, but not necessarily stateside. Yeah, not she had already made it stateside, so she was here chilling. Then she had her baby when Gabby comes up. So, so was- yeah, so it's I think it's going to be interesting, but that's going to be, I mean, you know, Gabby's got, you know, she's got some smash in her. She's got a good guard. Uh, lasso queen, bro. Like Nachi spider lasso is crazy. So I roll with her. Mm-hmm. I could not fuck with her spider lasso at all. Like, like at all, bro. <laughs> it, it's crazy. She's got some really good transitions there. She trains with Heba, her husband. So he, you know, he is with. It. Now men's ultra heavy. This one, you know, whatever. Uh, Eric Muniz, he's my favorite for, forever. Um, Rose, versus Roosevelt Souza and Victor Ornario versus Jao Gabriel Rocha. Um, funny thing about Jao Gabriel, if you ever get an opportunity, go back mm-hmm. and watch. I think it was fight to win, maybe Kasai. Jao Gabriel fought Gordon Ryan mm-hmm. in Dallas. Yeah, How and do you do? bro, I think he won the fight, bro. Oh uh, yeah, it was one of those. I think he won the fight, and I mm-hmm. think it was one of those where after the match. Like, you know, the foot lock, Gordon couldn't walk on his foot or whatever. You know, mm-hmm. he, he couldn't do that. He had to take some time off. Um, he ultimately, Gordon Ryan ultimately ended up getting the nod. But I think it, I think I actually think Jao Gabriel won that match. Yeah. Now, this this would have been before Jewel was born. Yeah. So she was born in 19. So this would have been early 19, late 18 mm-hmm. when the match happened. Um, so four years ago. Haven't heard much from Jao Gabriel since then. Yeah, I've never. Um, heard of him. <laughs> I, he did. He did a lot of team switching. So he f- first Soul Fighters and with Double Five with um with uh oh my God, I can see his face and I can't I can't say his name, but he's a he's a Double Five. Um, and now he's with Alliance. Uh, but I just feel like Eric Muniz, bro, mm-hmm. at Ultra Heavy. So Is Fabrizio Andres with Alliance now? Who? Fabrizio Andres. Fabricio, because I just saw a current video of him training, and he was in a in an alliance gi. Uh, yeah, but he may have just been visiting because you know those, they just you know those top guys bounce all over the place. He may because I well no alliance headquarters in Atlanta, but I, I don't know how I feel about that. You know, what I mean, I'm like really, you're a top you know jujitsu guy and stuff, and you don't got your own gi. Well, well, <laughs> you know I, mean? They, I mean, but you know, they're like, hey, come over and train because he because uh-huh. he's based out of Manaus, mm-hmm. so he trains with Mikey and, and Milky. I can't say his name, mm-hmm. but. Yeah, Michael's dad. Yeah, in Manaus. So, you know, he may just they yeah, like, but oh, still, you don't here. got your own gi though. <laughs> you know, he needs uh, you know that. Hey, and, you know, anybody looking from the outside that don't know. Oh, <laughs> like I thought he was with this team. <laughs> hey, you know, I mean, why is hey, he wearing their gi? You know, you know. So, I, but, you know, but it raises they, questions. Yeah, you know? but they also like to to pump it. I just mm-hmm. feel like, man, I, I just feel like Eric Munice is so strong, bro. No, yeah, you know, I, don't I think mean, I think he's gonna it's gonna be a cakewalk for him. But see, like, see, that's the thing, though. Ultra heavy. Uh-huh. Like, if I was gonna say who is the best ultra heavy, yeah, you had you know, you know like, who I want to see. Yeah, you had to have Eric Munice, Nicholas Margali. Uh, freaky. Uh, who will be an, on the uh, Victor Hugo? Hugo, yes, for sure. And then, uh, mm, I mean, Roosevelt's okay. I mean, what the, about the, Adam the, Wazerski? Is he ultra heavy? I don't think Adam's ultra heavy. No, you think? I think he's super heavy. Who's another guy up there that maybe Hulk? No, 
No, is Hulk? Nah, I wouldn't want to see Hulk. No, no, nah, not not against like, those guys. But I definitely would. Those want, three for sure. You know. Uh, yeah, and, I mean, and I'm, then but, throw in someone that you know up and coming that's making a lot of noise. I, I just think I. <laughs> if you want to tell, you have to have Mergali and Muniz. Yeah. You have to. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just that's just whatever. But but I still think there's some good matches, and I think you know there's always room. for You know, because when they went with but, each other the first time, they they were teammates. Uh, the first two times. Yeah, they were teammates. Right. So it's like you know, were they really going against each other? You know, what I mean? <laughs> it's like Low and freaking in, in, in uh, Buchencha going Bro, against each this other. This is what I think, man. This is just me. Yeah. I think that um, they got that Muniz got the buy. He got the pass mm-hmm. for weight. Yeah. And I think that when they met in absolute, Margali got the pass for absolute. I don't mm-hmm. think that either one of those matches were were real matches because that's mm-hmm. when the IBS was like, you can't close out. So they were like, okay, fine. Yeah. And I think they fought. Yeah. But I yeah. don't think they fought. They, they rolled. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, I think they, they rolled. They just yeah. rolled. <laughs> they just rolled. They just rolled. <laughs> yeah. They were 100%. Yeah. So, um, but I think, but it's going to be good, man. It's, it's going to be on the 19th. I think it's going to be some good matches, bro. Uh, hey, hey, we talked about this. I think I, hey, I, 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 I like, I like the trophy. I think it's pretty dope. It's yeah. innovated, you know, the yeah. crown, you know, like that. If yeah. we get, you know, and, and me being just, you know, a uh, uh, Game of Thrones, you know, freaking uh, oh, nerd, you know, I'm like, dang, I, I need nerd, one bro. of those. <laughs> I, I, you know? I, I, but, but you're right though. The amount of revenue that they have, mm-hmm. and the number of people that they pay. Yeah, they could pay a lot more, mm-hmm. and you know, invite only is good. But you're right. If you want, if you want to give somebody the crown in the middleweight division, I, I, I'm gonna need to see. I'm gonna need to see Tynan and Jansen. I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like this tournament is a great premise, and you know, uh, and, uh, and like that, and a and a good build up of what they're doing like that. But it still feels rushed because I'm like, a lot of these guys are not top tier. You know, what I mean, you want to say that this is the crown and name it that. All right. Why isn't everybody on here not top tier? You know, or or have because what you could do, mm-hmm. you could almost do like ADCC and have your regional qualifier. Yes. So you have several so qualifying uh, uh, matches through and things th- like this. This is why I said because if, if that you know adding that into the mix, I'm like, yeah, it just seems pretty rushed. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, if if you're gonna do an inaugural one like this, okay, then you take the top four of the freaking competitors that won that were that placed at Worlds last year. You know, if you if you want a rush job, right? You know, like that. At least you know what those are the top four that made it, and they they deserve to be. They here. were all on like the podium. That. Yeah, they're on the podium. Pride again. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You know, then next, you know, then yeah, you know, you do those things where you have qualifiers like that, you know, to to get your name in the invitation to be invited, right? Like that, yeah. The, you know, yeah. and that's and then you're just talking about a different uh, a stream of revenue, you know, freaking for different tournaments and events, you know, like that. I'm like, you know, you just open yourself for even more because then now, then 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 you're talking about like even more revenue for to pay the fighters like that. You know for sure but it just seems like you know they want to put something out there i don't know what the rush is or why they want to get it out there like that because i know there's a lot more you know in, in invitations you know really premiering with flow grappling and stuff like that I, so i don't know where the heat is coming from but it seems a little bit rushed i mean look i think that you can put yourself in a situation where you can compete with some of these guys and you can <coughs> have your invitational to your regionals because mm-hmm. adcc does that they invite yeah. people into the regionals mm-hmm. but then if you want to come in and fight in a regional then you come in, you pay your entry fee, whatever it is. All that money goes into the prize pool at the end of the day mm-hmm. because it's jujitsu, bro. Right now, there's some guy, some place that will fuck Tynan up. That's a strong statement. It, he's he's out there. Yeah, that, we know he's out there. Maybe he, in Nogi because Tynan's putting his head in there. He's putting his head in Nogi, which you know, is going to be interesting. Yeah, you know. um, but I feel like I feel like Tynan's just one of those athletes, bro. Mm-hmm. That if he now he's putting his nose into it. Mm-hmm. He's not going to go in and be like, "Oh, I just kind of want to do this." Um, but you know, I mean, it's it's the same way. You know, basketball. It's basketball. Mm-hmm. There's a guy right now on the blacktop that would make, that would clown the yeah. best. Put it's just he it's ain't just being there. In Victor and one beyond. Not that motherfucker right now. He, he's getting everybody fits in that league bro, right now, bro. So, you know, I I just man, I just feel like that that that's out there, and mm-hmm. and, and but I do think that this could be the opportunity. For IBJJF to give their gi competitors room to step up, make some real money competing in the gi, mm-hmm. um, open up a, a, a good revenue stream for them, 
you know they got the little contract with Flow Grappling. Maybe some of that contract is it's memberships, is all this. Mm-hmm. Maybe put put Flow put some money behind it, get some sponsorships behind this crown, um, and actually be able to put money in people's pockets. Because as you know, it's a lot of what pro is. fighter, yeah, pro fighter. As you know, yeah, bro, you got to eat at the it, end of the day. It, it's bro. hard on the come up, bro. You got to right? eat. The, the bro. grind is serious, and, and you know, and and. <laughs> You know, it's tough. You know, a lot of mental aspects goes into that when, you know, especially after the loss, like, fuck, I ain't getting paid for this shit. Fuck right, that. right, right. You know, so, yeah, but, you know, even with a loss, you know, that stings, but you got, you know, you get ten or 20,000, you know, freaking right. after a loss. And you know what? I, I'll try again. Well, you know, but yeah. but if, you're not, if you're going, paying money to, and let's let's say hypothetically paying money to compete, mm-hmm. because I don't believe that these guys at the top, I don't think the time and pace to register for any tournament. Okay, I, I don't think he pays anybody to register. Now, whether it's a sponsor's paying for him or whatever, kind of makes me mad. Tyne, <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. Tiny ain't yes. paying no money for, yeah. for to get in. Whether it's yeah. a sponsor paying or whoever the case may be, but at the end of the day, like, like if I'm doing this and I'm not making what I'm still not making what the guy at at Mer- Burger King makes, mm-hmm. maybe making more in sponsorships, and I get that, but I'm not making what the guy in Burger King makes. At at as a, at a, in a year, mm-hmm. and I could be you know I could lose my sponsorship at any time. Mm-hmm. It's not it's not worth it to keep doing it, and so you got to make it worth it to keep these guys if you want them to stay. If you want them to stay and be able to put their name in and get the get the top guys, and I just think that this is a first, I think it's a good start. I just hope it I hope it keeps going and it does what it's supposed to do. No, I get it, man. You know that. So hey, you know uh, I'm gonna be tuning in for that one for sure, like that. Oh yeah, for sure.